needed to be said, that you felt needed to be said, and why did it need to be said? I, I don't know. It, it's hard to say I did this book because it needed to be said. I don't, I'm not a historian. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not in none of these things. I'm a very light sort of person, really. I'm just telling my story, and it happens to be a rattling good tale. How interested were, were the press and the people in the business in your career until Mick Jagger came along? Well, the press were very interested at first in me because I was so pretty and so sort of different. No, it can't, I can't say they weren't complete, they weren't interested. But of course, the minute I, I ran off with Mick Jagger, the stakes went up and it became much more fascinating to the world in general. And obviously, I, I don't think I would have been asked to do this book if I hadn't known the people I did know in the 60s. Sure, particularly Jagger, of course. Why didn't you two get married? I didn't want to. Um, I, don't, I don't think that's what we were thinking of at first. I had been married um, to someone I loved very much, and we had a child, and it hadn't worked out. And I think it was wise of me not to, not to get married then. And, I, I, I don't know if I'm very, very good at or fitted for, for, for marriage. But Mick wanted to marry you. Well, he thought he did, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Do you still keep in touch? No, not really. I mean, I, do, I have seen him maybe once in the last, twice in the last ten years. Will he welcome you um, putting the thoughts and the memories into print? I can't see why not. It's very well done. It's something I can't worry about. You know, what will Mick think? I hope he doesn't mind, but if he does, it's too bad. Do you, do you worry about what was fact and what was fiction and the legends that grow up and the stories and the, the stories of you dressed only in a bear rug and the All sexual the acts with it. Mars well, bars? Well, yeah, and... I don't worry about it that much. It, you know, the, 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 the story is, of course, myth. Both are one of them. No, I was in a fur rug. The rest of it's myth. You can't get me to repeat that story. Yeah. I wouldn't repeat that story. It's a lie. I think I can handle it, you know. It's not going to kill me. It hasn't killed me so far. I don't think it will now. Looking back over it all, if you had to do it differently, would you do it differently? I don't think so, no. I, and I think it's a wonderful life so far. Um, with all its ups and downs, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't change it. No, it's been a wonderful thing and I've... I've got so much out of it. It has been a peculiar life, but you have to remember that, to me, it's just my life. It doesn't seem very peculiar to me. And really, until I wrote the book, I, I almost felt like, well, isn't everybody's life like that? <laughs> it's also strange, amidst this amazing story, wild child, sex, drugs, rock and roll, it's all there, all the big names. You finish this book with the recipe for Lemon chicken? Chicken with lemon and garlic. garlic yeah. A recipe. Well, it's a good recipe. <laughs> and if you tried it, anyone who tries that recipe will enjoy that meal. It, it looks lovely. But why finish with a recipe? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> what else can you do? A, a good way to end it. <laughs>